Hey guys, how you doing? This is a real good one here. I get this call from this cat. He's um, he's kind of like a slumlord guy. He's got a bunch of income property. Uh, he's I don't know. I guess he's about my age. He goes to Florida all the time. I really shouldn't call him a slumlord. He's just got a lot of income property, and he likes to do all his work himself. And he's the type of guy, you know, if he gets in the jam and he can't fix it, he'll call me. But, you know, maybe, I don't know, half a time, half a dozen times a year he'll call me. The rest of the time, he does all his own stuff, which I got no problem with that, you know. Do whatever you want. What do I care? But anyway, he calls me. He's getting no airflow to the vents. Uh, and this, he's got a hot air system on... Uh, third floor on one of his apartments. I think it's like a six family house. So I go over there and um, I look at it. I check the uh, fan cycle switch. It's, it's coming on. The fan's coming on. I look at the fan and the thing is like caked with dust. I mean bad. Really bad. Wait till you see this thing. I mean it's caked. It, no airflow going through this sucker at all. So um, take it all apart. Clean all the fan off. And then I fire it up and it's got an old gas valve in there. And uh, the thing's giving off crazy CO levels. My meter set at like 4,000, it shuts off. And the thing was like ping, going right up to 3,000 and climbing like crazy, 3,000 parts per million. So I shut it off, I took all the burners out. And the thing really whacked my, my, uh, my carbon monoxide detector bad. So um, I never really kind of kind of wouldn't reset itself. But anyway, I, I put a new gas valve in there. I took all the burners apart and I cleaned it. And I before I left, I turned the gas valve way down. So the flame looked a lot better than it was. And uh, usually if it's a pilot assembly, what I'll do is I'll get my little ear um, compressor and I'll blow out the pilot assembly because them old pilot assemblies, a little bit of soot in there, they won't work right. The thermal cup won't heat up right. I, I should have did that, but I didn't. So then later on in the day, um, this guy called me. She's got no heat again. Well, she had she had heat before, but she got no heat. The pilot keeps going out, so I knew what it was. I had to go back. But I, in the meantime, I got my carbon monoxide detector working again, so I could go back and check check the CO levels. I knew it would be would have been a thousand times better than it was. Now she was living with this flipping thing like this for years. High carbon monoxide levels. Surprised nobody died. But anyway, uh, I went back there. I blew up blew the pilot assembly out. I didn't show that, but I did. And then I, I I turned the meter on, and you know the CO levels I think were like down to four parts per million, which were, were really good. So the new gas valve, he really should have changed the furnace, but he just said fix it, just fix it. So that was the deal there. I ended up going back there. I got it going. Uh, it's an old beast, but it's safe to run. You know, it's just just old. This is the type of shit I run into all the time, you know. Uh, everybody wants shit fixed. They don't want to buy nothing new. But hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Little beast. I think the fan is just like completely filthy. And I'll take it apart and clean it, but you ain't gonna get no airflow out of that. Yeah. Well, I definitely get the airflow. Let's see if it will. Maybe that fan cycle switch is bad. Let's wait and see when it kicks in. Yeah. Should be kicking in any second here now. Here we go. Pull the fan out and take a look. Wow, what a mess. Now, how are you supposed to clean that out? I'll have to take it all apart. Look at how dirty that is. That's bad. Jesus. That's really bad. Yeah. Look at that. Jesus. Wow. It probably hasn't been touched. God knows how long. <laughs> that you know is saying? bad, man. That's I really mean, bad. I can't even imagine how long it's been since anybody's even attempted to. Wow. You know what I mean? Look at that. Wow, look I at mean, that. Oh, you know, yeah. That is like caked on with dust. That's disgusting. Holy cow. That's yeah. bad. <laughs> and I bet you it hasn't been cleaned since it was put in. Look at that. <laughs> Fucking mess. Jesus. 
Well, hopefully, we'll just what the dust now, bunnies? You have something that'll clean that? I gotta take it all apart. I can't leave that like that. You get no flow. Yeah. So you gotta take the sanding. When it snows, he, he does a sanding in big parking lots like Walmart and all that for the company he works for. So, I'm mean, didn't mm -hmm. like that since probably hasn't been touched since so it was installed. Sure. Unbelievable how dirty it is. It's like really bad. Really bad. What do you mean you feel something? I'm, uh, there's nothing coming out of here. And, and they clogged because my husband took all these off and checked them to make sure there's nothing clogging the, the vents in themselves, you know? I said, there's nothing. There's nothing coming out of there. Well, because if there's a little bit warmer right there, it's supposed to blow out, you know? Well, I feel a little bit of something. Want to something have else, man. Come do it. I know Unbelievable. Are you trying to figure out with anybody? And for the life of us, for anybody in your family, we cannot seem to find anybody who actually had cancer. So we just assume it's from the smoking house, you know? Well, that's usually what causes it, you know? Yeah, well, I mean, I'm, I'm 40, 40 years old. I'll be 41 this year. And I've been smoking since I was like 14. And I smoke menthol, which they say is even worse. But uh, it's it's stage four, so I just unbelievable. This yeah. thing is big. I'm all site cleaning. I'm gonna clean this thing the best I can out here. Unbelievable. Oh, that's bad. I'm gonna clean it. Then I'll take it up and out. It's too cold to use the holes out here. But I'll use it in a sink upstairs. That's, that's bad. Wow. <clears throat> See the pile of dust that come out of that thing? Holy shit, that's bad. Unbelievable. Rinse it off in the sink the best I can, the rest of it, but it's pretty clean, somewhat. Too cold out here to get my uh, my coil gun out, it'll freeze. It's all snow and shit, so what I'll do is uh, clean it in the sink the best I can, put it together. That's bad. You know? Like, yeah, yesterday I went out and did yeah. a few things. Um, you know, I go and do laundry, and after that, I'm ready for a nap. You know what I mean? <laughs> and that's not me. Usually, I go and, you know, yeah, just for Christmas, for Christ's sakes, to go out and get... Plumbing, heating, and air conditioning. That's. Plumbing, heating, and air conditioning. You know, fan gels? Yeah, I do. Yeah, you know, Dick just passed away not too long ago. Yeah, too bad. He was a good guy. Yeah, I met him. I, I dated his son, David. Um, Jesus, I met Dick. Must have been a good one. Jesus, I was 18 at the time, working at the Gazebo Lounge. I just got a job there. And I met him. Jason and all them. Yeah, I didn't even know he was sick. Yeah, he had cancer, I think. That, you know what? I had a friend of mine, Mike Freegan, who, who was a friend of me, my sister at um, Six Bristol, and told her that Dick, Dick was really sick to let me know. Because I didn't even know. And, um, yeah. But he didn't last long. No, he didn't last long. After I heard that he was sick, not, a, not, not maybe a month later, uh, I don't get paid with my sister to get the obituary online. And she told me. I was like, really? I don't know what's going on. 
what, 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 what even went on with the business. Because Jason had started his own business. Because I seen Jason about three years ago. And, um, that uh, yeah, VF on Clark Street. And he told me he wasn't working for his father anymore. That he had started his own business. That's that gave me a pen with a name on it and stuff. And saying it's doing like McDonald's and he was taking care of it. Check and see if we got a flow now. It's not bad, this thing's running pretty decent considering. Uh, did he clean the filter or did he change the filter? No, he cleaned the filter. And the filter is fine. Oh, I'd have to get up there and check, but this CL's looking okay. good. Wait a minute. I feel something. Yeah. It, just, it just kicked in, it just Here kicked in, ma'am. Yeah. yeah, let me check I this other cell. Okay. This thing is not cut right either. Well, it ain't gonna blow you into next week. As long as but you can feel it, that's the way it's supposed to. Now. There's a, I'm gonna have Michael take this out. This, um, the ceiling thing is blocking like half of this part of this vent here. And they haven't got it in Oh, good on that side. That thing's pumping out high carbon monoxide on that side. That's not good. Wow, I actually, holy shit. I've been living here for three years. That's the first time I felt like this come out of that thing. You're a genius. I'm a genius, all right. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So I got the burners all apart and I'm cleaning them good. Pilot, when I first Definitely lit it, they would do when it. First lit it, so. winter, it goes off for nothing. You know, like, it's not windy. It just will go off. And I think doing that will be a lot when you turn it off. And then it's gone. And you just go off. Give this one a good clean and we'll try it again. Alright, we're ready to go. Alright, I'm clearing the meter. We're up to like 14,000. Crazy number. Well, I'm gonna have to try changing that gas valve because the guy wants me to try to fix it. I'll put a new gas valve, one that I can adjust. That one you can't adjust. I ran my meter, it was over 3,000. Shut off again. So, let me try this, see what happens. and I blew everything out, all the um, yeah. pilot lines and whatnot, blue. You can see all the black shit. It's not the bad all there. You didn't tell me that. That's what you said? I took in that cell there. Yeah. That's the one that was like over 3,000. Other cell up here. Why? Why can't you see it? What did you think the 
Okay, it's it's working the way it should now. Um, what was wrong? Maybe it was just the dirt in there. No, I had a bad gas valve. Yeah. I blew all that uh, pilot assembly out with my compressor. Now you see how the flames coming on that thermal couple. You're gonna be yeah. a lot. You're gonna be okay now. Okay. But the carbon monoxide levels is what I was concerned about. And it's okay. The carbon monoxide. It's level? yeah. It's four. Four parts per million. It was right. o- it was over three thousand. It was over three thousand per million to the carbon monoxide in this house. Now it's yes. Now it's only four. So good thing we changed that. Yeah, well. I can't come in and go in on somebody else's job. I'm like, well, I know what time it is, but you can't leave me in the job to do that. So. Yeah, I couldn't figure out why the pilot wouldn't stay lit. I know it did that to me when I first lit it up at um, the beginning of the year, but I figured just because they hadn't been lit all summer, you know what I mean? That's why I thought they were going to do one in the year of the yeah. Okay. Yeah. So how's Google? Yeah. Success. <laughs> Why? Well, you need to go. Yeah. So, and he's he had a, a bump on his left eyelid, and I so, told him it started a couple weeks ago. He 